Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we'll be looking at and reflecting on some of the Psalms from the Bible, which were written as songs and can still be sung, but can also still be used as prayers. Now, a brief disclaimer about the Psalms. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the douay Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will use psalm numbers as they're given in the douay Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Fortunately, this psalm is number four in both translations, so let's take a look at what it says. Unto the end, in verses, a psalm for David. This seems to be a title and a description of the psalm. When I called upon him, the God of my justice heard me. When I was in distress, thou hast enlarged me. God hears us when we call for help, and takes action to help us improve when we need it. The word enlarged in this context is a bit odd, however. It could refer to God granting spiritual growth to the person who calls to him, or to God's protection, granting power which is larger than the power of man, or it could refer to some miraculous intervention by God when David was in danger. However, I think it's just as likely to be an indirect reference to David's encounter with Goliath and how God enabled him, while he was still very small, to defeat a much larger man through his guidance and protection. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. David appeals directly to God to grant his petition. O ye sons of men, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love vanity and seek after lying? David asks why people pursue futile human accomplishments rather than putting God first. Know ye also that the Lord hath made his Holy One wonderful. The Lord will hear me when I shall cry unto him. God glorifies those who serve him and hears their prayers. Be angry and sin not. The things you say in your hearts, be sorry for them upon your beds. I love this verse, as it clearly states that not all anger is sinful. When we keep our angry outbursts to ourselves, no one is hurt by them. The term, your beds, refers to times when you're alone with God. Offer up the sacrifice of justice and trust in the Lord. This is worded oddly, but it doesn't mean that justice should be sacrificed. What it means is that the things we sacrifice should be good things to give up. For instance, we can give money to the poor or give up some of our time to help someone deal with a problem they have. However, taking things from other people in order to sacrifice them is different. That's not a just sacrifice. Many say, Who sheweth us good things? Many people complain that nothing really good ever comes into their lives. The light of thy countenance, O Lord, is signed upon us. Thou hast given gladness in my heart. However, we know that happiness comes from God, who pays attention while giving it to us. By the fruit of their corn, their wine, and oil, they are multiplied. These are all images meant to show material prosperity during the time of David, this verse might mean that people grumble more when they have greater prosperity or that God gives greater happiness than material success does. Both are very often true. It could even mean that the good things of life can help us to appreciate the goodness of God more. But I think that's probably not what he meant to say. In peace and the selfsame I will sleep and I will rest. We don't need to be afraid of financial or material loss if we put our trust in God. For thou, O Lord, singularly hath settled me in hope. There is no hope greater than hope in God, because there is no greater goal to achieve than being with him in heaven. This psalm really has quite a bit of range, including complaints against those who don't seek God, and making comparisons to people who do a lot of griping, but in the end it's mostly a psalm of praise and thanksgiving to God for the joy and hope that he brings into our lives, and for intervening on our behalf in the past. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.